Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. So somebody sent me this clip art and they want to engrave it. And there's a lot of problems. But what I did, I, I reduced it to size. I'm not going to show you all the steps on this. I converted it to a grayscale and I traced it. And this is what I got. And it's really pretty good. All I really want out of this is the leaves and the stems. Because we're going to reproduce the grapes. Hopefully, if I can do it again. Go up to object, group, and ungroup it. And then, let's see how big this thing is. It's only three inches. So let's set our nudge factor on five. And let's take this leaf and nudge it out of the way. All the parts. If you leave some, it doesn't really matter. That's probably good enough. We want the stem and the outer part of the stem. We'll go ahead and grab that part. We'll delete that inner part, and there's a bunch of parts to this stem or the vine. Whoop. And the grapes are kind of easy and fun to make. Tell you what, I'm going to just nudge that out of the way. That must be part of it. So we're going to call that good. This is really what we want. So, and I'm not going to bore you with all the steps, but here are some things you could do. Take your lips to, well, I'll tell you what we'll do first. Let's take this guy and control D and make a duplicate of it, move it over here. Make sure it's over there. Yep, there it is. And then we're going to take this one and we're going to left click, right click. Because we need this circle. We need to fill in that grate. So I'm going to get the two point, three point curve line and go from that node to that node and then hold down the control button just a little bit and get a perfect circle. Now I would test it to see if it worked and it worked. We're, we're sealed up there. So then you just need to take more grapes and you really need one right in here. So let's do the same thing if we're going to use these. Control D and mirror those or nudge those over. Left click, left click, right click. I need to select them all. Left click, right click. Because we want to put a grape right in here. So we're going to take our three point line curve again and go from that node to about to that node and then hold down the control button. It'll make it a little more perfect. And then we'll test it to make sure we're filled in and we're dead. So now you just need to create grapes. So we're going to take, I kind of like that shape. We're going to take the Smart Fill tool and nudge it over or just move it over. And we're going to make it, let's take away the color from both these. And left click, right click. Now I think we've got a little twig there. So we need to delete that because we're going to make a bunch of copies of this. And it didn't work because those nodes aren't touching. So we'll make those nodes touch and then delete it. Now I would go ahead, since we're working with it, uh, select them all, go up to Windows, Dockers, Join Curves, and join them together so it's a complete circle. Now we're going to use that great many times. And we're going to make some of them smaller. But let's put one right there. I'm going to hit the plus sign. I don't want to use the, the duplicate on here because I don't want it duplicating around. And I'm not going to do the whole vine, and you'll find out how much artistic ability you have in doing this. And then just keep hitting the plus sign, and we'll put one there. The reason I'm not using the duplicate key because I don't want it to jump to the next position. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and fill in this gap. Well, on this one, I'm going to use a smaller grate. So I'm going to fill it in, smart fill it in with black. Whoop. I thought I had that sealed. So we, we really need to fix that before we do anything. Let's take this node and put it right there. I don't think there's another leak 
Tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and fix this with the shape tool real quick. And get rid of these nodes. There's our problem right there. There's our leak. So let's take this and put it right there. Kind of look at our shape of our grate. Use our smart fill tool. It worked. Go back to the pick tool and let's move this one. And then let's left click, right click. And, you know, you see a bunch of, someone hit the plus sign, a bunch of uh, lines overlapping. But that's kind of what we want. Because now we're going to make grapes. So you just need to figure out which ones want to be on top and which ones want to be on the bottom. And this is where you're going to, I would think these three just do that right there. And you need to go through and, and maybe put those on the outside, you know. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm making some of them on the outside, some of them on the inside. You can't delete both those lines like I just did. And, we're, and then just start alternating the lines you're going to do. If we're going to keep that one, we're going to take that one away. You need to kind of get them all clean. And then let's say we can leave that hole right there, but let's put these on top of those. You kind of get the idea of what I'm doing. I'm just going to do a few of them. Whoop, went too far. This is, to me, is fun. Um, trying different things and and uh, let's zoom in here a little bit because it's really easy from here on out. Let's uh, that could be another grape, but we just need one line there, and you know that could be a void spot too. Um, they don't have to be perfect. You know the grapes aren't; they don't always have to be transparent. Let's get rid of one more line now. And you kind of got to, let me zoom in here and see what's going on. No, oh, that was just something on my screen. So take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in. i tell you what, we want a better one. We want a round one. Let's take that one, and we can move it off the chart now. Now we're going to take the Interactive Fill tool and kind of put some shadow shadow or interactive feel on this grate. Let me zoom in here and get a little better. You want some pretty big contrast. And you could go the, the light on the top or the light on the bottom. Now we got our sample. We need to fill in some of these with black to get this to work. Take the Smart Fill tool. Just don't do too many of them at a time so you don't know what is what. Now, we can take that and get the attribute eyedropper, sample from there, and just put them in the spot. And if you don't tell, if you don't, if you tell me that doesn't look like grapes, you know, I'd maybe, you could fill in, you know, some void spots with black. Let's get the smart fill tool and fill in that void with the black, kind of give it some depth. And, and then you would, remember what we did with the leaves? We can delete these leaves. We were just using them for a pattern and then just nudge them back. Now they might, you might want to put some more grapes in there. You know, like it needs to be something right there. And let's put these other leaves back. Uh, well, we don't have to delete the other ones. Just leave the, the line there. And then when you you have to fill in with the Smart Fill tool to get the interactive or get the uh, attribute eyedropper to, to work. Now that one you might even want to change around. See, if you do that, it, well, it works sometimes. It doesn't always work. See, it's got a zero there. So I would fill them in first with the Smart Fill tool. And the more grapes you have, the better it's going to look. And it, you know, you could even change the shadow between, you know, left and right, right and left. And then just, um, probably the best way to do this would be to take your uh, Control-G and group that line together. 
And then let's try this. Let's <clears throat> put it to the back of page. Order, back of page. Didn't work. You could go here, object, order, front of page. You know, that's not going to work. We must have, I must have filled in that grape around. Let's see if that's what we did. That's what we did. We filled in that grape or that vine around. So we should have filled this in first. Let's take that out. Let's take this, fill that in with black. Take our sample with our attribute eyedropper. Fill in that. And now see if it doesn't work. And I've kind of messed up the vine. Whoop. That wouldn't even be too bad. Get the pick tool back. Grab all that. Now we go. Now it's in the back of the page. I messed up the part of the line, but or part of the vine. And this vine needs to be cleaned up. And you can do that with a lot of the leaves, but have fun with that. I mean, here's the one I did when I wasn't talking. And I think it's going to be really cool. I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for